All right, well, let's get to it. Wild card weekend. Here's the question I want to throw at you. Which quarterback has the most to prove this weekend? So we're not including Aaron Rodgers and Pat Mahomes who have buys. But this weekend, which quarterback have the mo- has the most to prove? I'm going to give you the matchups. You got Phillip Rivers against Josh Allen. You've got Jared Goff against Russell Wilson. You got Tom Brady against Alex Smith and, you know, maybe the other guy. They might do both. We'll see. Lamar Jackson, Ryan Tannehill, Mitch Trubisky, Drew Brees, Baker Mayfield, Ben Roethlisberger. Who you got? I, I, I think we both know that Lamar Jackson has to win a playoff game. He hasn't won this his third year. He's 0-2, so he has to win a playoff game. I think that's obvious, right? Would you say that? Like, we both yeah. agree. Yeah, and now I'll give okay. him that. I'll give him that. Like, like it's obvious young. that he has to win a game. He doesn't have to be yeah, great. Yeah, it's not the end of the they world. They need to win. Right. Yeah, it's not the end of the world because he's still so young. And remember, Peyton but he Manning. Has, but he, he needs to win a, a playoff game. But okay? yeah, and they've he, been playing he, great. The pressure's on. Yeah. They, they've won, what, five or six in a row, Chris? They've been blowing they've been everybody playing, out. To use your form, they've been playing patsies. Right, but don't, they're blowing them out. out. Yeah. No, but they're blowing them out, but, which but, is the way they when, should when, do When patsies. I say something about Mahomes, you don't, you don't, you don't give me that. You just, you just hone in on the patsy part. Can I talk? You do. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You know I'm right. No, no, I, I right. don't know. But anyway, right. go but ahead. Anyway, they're, they're I'm looking go, good against I'm the I'm going passes. off the board. I'm going off the board. I, I'm going to pick Drew Brees. Ooh. Because, yep, Drew Brees you hasn't know looked. he's got a Super Bowl, right? No, no, but he, he hasn't looked that great since he came back from the half a slab ribs issue that he had. Uh, what was the game they played? Not the last game. The game before that. He had the two. He had two or three interceptions, no touchdowns. He just didn't look that good in the first week. He didn't look that good. I, I don't remember his numbers this nah, past week. No, they don't week. look. He doesn't look the same. And, and, I, I'll and give I, you yes. You're and, right. and this is a team that has a really good defense, Chris. A team that some people picked to go to the Super Bowl. I did before the season started, and I think that people you sound need like to you're see. Off like, that. what's that? You sound like you're off of that. Yeah, I'm, I know I, who I, you're going with. Everybody I want to see. I want to see what what they do. I'm not off of it yet. I'm not. You going with Green Bay? No, Be I'm honest. not. I, I'm sticking. You with don't my want pick. Green Bay. I'm picking Baltimore and I'm picking New Orleans. That's my preseason you're pick. Just I'm staying with, with your it. Pick. I'm right. sticking with my pick. But anyway, I think he has something, Chris. If they're going to make a run, they have a defense. Alvin Kamara is a great running back, Chris. They got almost all the ingredients. But but he's the weak link. He's got to be better. I think and and the first game, right? Who are they playing? The Bears, right? Yeah, I mean you you got to You got to get you got to beat the Bears and and he has to play well and and I'm looking for him to prove that he can get them cuz this looks like this is his last year and he's going to NBC Sports, right? Chris, isn't that the talk that's that he's going to take over for Chris Collinsworth, right? That that's what people are saying. So I think that he has something to prove this weekend. Look, you said it at the top. Of course, it's Lamar, right? I mean, he's got to win a playoff game. If he doesn't – and I'll give you that he's young. We all know it. He's still got plenty of time to go ahead and win. He's like, how old is he, 23 or something, Chris? What How old is he? He he must be 24-ish, 24, 25, something like that. Probably 25. Check that out, uh, Lee, if you can. But Lee, yeah, how old is he? Um, So he's got time, though. Although I do think it's not quite as much as your average, you know, big arm quarterback. But he's yeah, he's 25, but he's still got time. It won't be the end of the world. But you know, Rob, in today's climate, it will be ratcheted up. Next year will be very tough on the Baltimore Ravens if they don't win at least one playoff game. Right? No, they gotta like, win. Going they gotta through, win. You're going to go through that whole season. And to, this year was like this to some degree. But if they don't win the first playoff game, they got to go through all the next season. I don't care if they go 16-0. and 0. No one's going to care. It's all going to – in fact, that would just put more pressure on you. So they need to win a playoff game. He needs to kind of – he's he's great as it is. I don't want to say validate himself. But, you know, people want to see, can you do it in the postseason? But I'll give you a little bit about Brees. Um, yeah. I mean, he's got the Super Bowl, though. 
You know, he's obviously got a lot of records. Here's the thing, Rob, and and I'm going to go a little further than just wild card weekend. If he wins the Super Bowl this year, does it move him up? I know he wants to win and and he's competitive and and, and it'd be great for him to win and New Orleans and all that, but I I don't think it moves him up. Yeah, but he wouldn't I, move ahead I, of Aaron Rodgers. I'm talking about in the historical rankings. No, but but I think people would look differently at him a little bit, Chris, from the standpoint of winning more than one, winning a second Super Bowl. You saw Peyton Manning did it, uh, where he won a second was, Super Bowl. And I know he 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 was a, the tin man in that play, and it was all about the defense and what they did to Cam uh to stop him. But uh he went out with a second one. I think another Super Bowl. With this team, considering where they are, they've been up and down. You've said it with the record, Chris, where they didn't make the playoffs, what was it, three years in a row? Three straight years, I mean. Yeah, I mean, so to go out on top, it's just the way people look at you, Chris. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always like a boxer. People remember the the way that they see you at the end. If you're getting beat up or, or, or you win your last fight and you walk out and you're triumphant, there's something about walking away with a championship like like John Elway's career, Chris. Would you would you agree with me? John Elway well, winning Elway, those last I think, I two think Super those, Bowls it heightened him. Yes, but he had lost what three? His first yeah, three, right? But he, he was still like, a hell of a quarterback, two, though. He those two Super Bowls though raised his stature. That's what I'm saying. He would right. not be. He'd be a Hall of Famer and all that. But he wouldn't be as highly regarded as he is. It changed his if perception. One those. I don't think. And you're right. It, it will be a great story. Last year, you know, win the Super Bowl. Walk out on top. City of New Orleans. Yeah, you were injured. I mean, the whole nine yards. It'd be great for him. But would it would it move him ahead of anybody? Would, I don't think it'd move him ahead of Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning. Would it move him ahead of Brett Favre? May, eh, maybe. 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 Maybe a Brett Favre. Brett Favre yeah. won one Super Bowl, Chris. He's the all-time interceptions leader. I know he played. He had the consecutive game-playing yeah. streak. I got that. He was a you know daring gunslinger, threw the ball around, had some exciting moments. I, I covered a playoff game where he threw like a 60-yard touchdown at the end to beat the Lions in a playoff game in the old Pontiac Silverdome, Chris, back in the early 90s. You know, So I yep. saw some of Brett yep. Favre's magic, and I covered some of those playoff games. So – yeah, that might be a guy. Could he do it? Could would, would he would would Drew Brees maybe maybe be thought of higher than Brett Favre? I don't think he'd go to another tier. Let's put it that way. And I think you would agree with that. Like I don't think it takes him to another tier. Is that fair? Winning a second one? Yeah. Uh, I think people would look at him differently. I would love to hear what people think. He's about just Drew not Brees. thought look, he's an all time great Hall of Famer, all that. But he's not. I think it's the dink and dunk, and now, especially now, he doesn't throw deep. I, I just don't think he's as highly regarded as some of the guys that have done, you know, not not even done as much as him, you know, because they had the powerful arm, and you know what I mean. Like I said, Aaron Rodgers, he's if 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 Drew wins this Super Bowl, he's got two to Aaron's one. I'm not putting him ahead of Aaron Rodgers though, and he's got numbers like Rodgers. Right. You know what I'm saying? How much uh, will it change, impact Drew Brees' legacy if he wins this Super Bowl, his second Super Bowl title? Your turn to weigh in. All right, Dan in Washington. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Dan? Hey, fellas. How you guys doing? Doing good. We're good, brother. How are you? Good. Long-time listener. I love you guys. Thank hey, you. Uh, one thing I just... I just want to get back to something that you had mentioned before the break about uh, this elevating breeze past Favre. You guys yes. are absolutely nuts. There is no way. Okay, Breeze is a probably top 10, top 12 quarterback. But Brett Favre is the face of a franchise, of a city. He's not of, even the I, best quarterback his franchise has ever yes, had. Yes, he's, so he's slow third down. best. Okay. And, and we didn't say it would definitely do it. We said it might, let but me, go let, ahead. But but let me in perspective. Let me, let me ask you this: When you say Green Bay Packers, you think Lombardi, Snow, Brett? 
uh, or excuse me, uh, Bart Star. Starr and Brett Favre. Hold on, no. hold on. Is Aaron Rodgers not better than Brett Favre? I, I will. I listen. I'm a Packers fan. Aaron Rodgers is. But All right, you then. Think, so, I mean, so then, and you, you think of, wait a minute, you just said it. He's the quarterback in his you, franchise. Wait, exactly, because Bart Starr is there. Everybody knows Bart Starr. I don't care that, that name. You just said it. Aaron Rodgers has you, passed Brett Favre. Okay, when you think of New Orleans, you think of crawfish, horn, <laughs> Crazy fans. Hey, when you think Urban of Street, New Orleans and, Saints, and three, and hold on. Three when you, is the, when, last, the last thing on the menu. Is that's what I'm because New Orleans got a lot more going on than Green Bay, Wisconsin. But hold exactly. on. When you think of the New Orleans Saints, who do you think of? Yeah, yeah, so honestly, uh, when I Don't think of New Orleans Saints, Archie I think Manning. about. <laughs> no, I think about that blocked kick that happened 10 years ago and the guy, Man, and the guy who did Drew it. Drew Brees is the face of that yes. franchise. Yes, Period. he is. And if he wins his second one, we appreciate the call. Even though, if he Dan. doesn't, he's the face. But no, yeah, no, no doubt. Call. All Good right, call. Bruce in South Carolina, you're on The Odd Couple. Fox Sports Radio, what's up, Bruce? Hey, hey, what's going on, Robin Chris? I love this show. I tell you, I listen to the show every day. Man, um, thank you. Man. No, I do want to make one comment. Let's run the Brett Favre and Drew Brees comparison a little bit because that's a good one. Uh, Drew Brees' issue, as far as lifting him up on the legacy, he never won a regular season MVP. Brett Favre did that three times. Right. Right. So I think that gives them much of a leverage in that case. Winning the Super Bowl is going to be a heat of the moment, so we we'll would say so. But I think when the smoke settles, yeah, I don't but, know if but, it really moves them. But the other nah, one, too, that's, is... That's is, kind of what we were talking about, Rob. I mean, that's fair. No, I mean... No, no, no. And, and, and the other part, too, though, is that Brett Favre Super Bowl, um, it was Desmond Howard Desmond who was the Howard, MVP. Right. I'm just right. saying. And if Brett Favre... Okay. And, 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 and but if, the thing is this, this and, and granted, Drew Brees has done a lot more than Eli Manning. But, you know, Eli's two Super Bowls don't move him ahead of, you know, a Brett Favre or anybody yeah, like that. Yeah, but that's that. going to get him in the Hall of Fame. I mean, that's right. totally But I, 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 I hear what the that. caller's saying. Like, does... Favre is just more iconic than Breeze. Hey, can, oh, hey, real quick, my line still. I don't know if another yes, Super Bowl right. will change that. Oh, go ahead. One more quick point. Uh, if remember before he retired, well, after he retired, he did lead the league in touchdowns. I don't know. I know it doesn't mean anything now, but that was something at the time. It wasn't like he was a complete interception machine. No, yeah, but he was no, the all-time he, leading he was, interception yeah. guy too, though. You got to admit that. I and, know. He was fa- he was famous for throwing picks to end playoff games. Well, I tell you what, right? It would be interesting nowadays because the interceptions. Oh, if you I mean, redo guys it, yeah, that would drop like down his to. his yeah. quarterback rating. He can't be in the top ten because of all those interceptions, Chris. Yeah, he would get a lot more credit. And granted, a lot of the all time greats threw a lot of interceptions. Not like a him, lot more. but yeah, they threw a lot more than they do today. All right, hey, you know what? Let's talk to uh, Walking Willie. In New Orleans, walking really in New Orleans. You're on the Odd Couple right. Fox Sports Radio. Hey, how y'all doing this evening? We're doing What's good. Up, walking Willie. Oh, okay, what, what y'all doing? Counting those chickens before they hatch. It's all going. <laughs> Saints got to get past Chicago. They got to get past. You and and to be a Saints fan. Hey, hey walking hey, Willie. We're no assuming Saints you're fans. a Saints. So why are you scared I, of the Bears? Hey, it's called. Remember the last time when the dog going with your bad run in the Super Bowl? What did they do? Didn't they put my buddy, the refrigerator man, in the back seat? That was 35 years ago. Yes. That was 35 years ago. But that's what they go do uh, Saturday. They go put that guy in the back seat with 380 pounds. When he get down in that red zone, he's going. And my buddy Drew Green. How somebody why would let him play with all those broken reels? Huh? That don't make sense. Well, <laughs> that, I, I, look, I, I wouldn't be mad if walking Willie's right, Rob, because that would eliminate your team. What's I that? wouldn't be mad at him. Oh, if if, if the Bears if the Bears beat uh, New Orleans. Yeah, that would that would be Plus an upset. Their that tough would be match that, up for my pick. You know, that would, I don't know what yeah. the seedings would be, but that would be that would be definitely a big time upset. All right, let's squeeze yeah. in. Uh oh my God. Let's squeeze right? in Sean in Sacramento. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Sean? 
Marcus from another mother. I thought you was about to forget my name there for a second. No, there, man. Hey, no, he just I, told you phone. he's about to be 57 years old. <laughs> These types hey, of with episodes how many... are going to be happening more and more Oh, frequently. whatever, Chris. <laughs> hey, with how much love y'all keep getting from these Sacramento callers, man, y'all might have to do a live show from up North California real hey, quick. But I know Chris locked out in Jersey. Hey. No, we'll do we'll do that. Obviously, I, yeah, I go to I a wing love, place. Yes. I'm all in. We Are love live shows. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes. And, and Rob, we don't just got one strip club. We got a whole block of strip clubs up here, man. Go center. Come up. Come up here and Is show us some love real quick. Uh, hey, look it up. And but we you know what? In the industrial district, but they there, baby. I don't know why I know that, but I know that. Yeah, <laughs> I've been to Sacramento. My my one of my good friends was the, was the. Uh, Editor of the uh, Sacramento Bee, Tom Negretti. That's right. So I, I yep, remember you so talking about that. You said you were spending time by the pool and everything with his wife and everything, Big yep, Rob. Absolutely. You know I'm a daily just, listener, just get, but my, get my to point the, real get quick, to the man. Because he, it sounds like it's getting crazy. No, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> I'm just saying, just the pool, somebody's wife. Oh, like, uh-huh. what? <laughs> Go ahead. Man, my my yeah, point yeah. real quick, guys is. As far as Drew Brees goes, man, even if he wins this Super Bowl, we're not going to say it was him. It's going to go down the same way Peyton Manning's second ring went down. We're going to credit the defense. We're going to credit Alvin Kamara. And we're going to credit the coaching for making everything happen. So I don't really feel like he has as much pressure as Josh Allen. Now, that's somebody who's been hyped up by all the big sports analysts. People talking about they should be 10-0 and right now if it wasn't for the Hail Murray. So if he goes in there, especially Buffalo, that's a town hungry for a ring. I think they're even going to have a couple people in the stands during that game, if I'm not mistaken. So if he can't deliver on this playoff game against the hapless Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts who barely squeak by, hey, I think there's going to be a lot of fallout if they can't pull this out this weekend. <sighs> He's young. You know what I'm saying, Rob? He's no, young. I, 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 think... I get it. It would be nice. It would be a kind of a damper on a great the... season, but – are we really holding it against him like that? No, nah, not yet. It's too, it yeah, is too it's, early. it's too early. It's know. too soon. It's too soon, bro. Too soon, bro. Too- Hit it, Iowa Sam. That's right. Give it. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. This is and, the and, boss, and, Diana Ross. And Iowa Sam, put your tank top back on. This is Greg Jennings' song. Okay. I saw. I was watching Greg Jennings on Sunday. He was doing. I can't remember what the game was. It Tampa Bay. I was watching whatever yep. game he was. Yeah, man, you talk about filling out a suit. Look at you. Would you I'm stop? I'm saying it? he looked good in his suit, man. It was like real sharp. You had the V work and everything, man. It was sharp. It was well, sharp. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I know and Chris you know is back because I got my music. Look, I knew that's he was going to say that. Right. See, you know here what? we go. <laughs> And, and I'm going to say this. It, Greg, his whole family is sharp. Now, my daughters, they're 22. They just graduated from college. And we were both, Greg and I, doing first things first about two years ago. And my da- one of my daughters was with me. And Greg's whole family was there. Well, you have four kids? Yep, four kids, four, three okay. girls and a boy. Yep, so they all were there. Some of them young, real young. And I, my daughter met them. And afterwards, she was like, Man, his kids are sharp, like sharp dressed. They're so sharp dressed, you know. <laughs> and uh, they were, man. I got to give you props. The whole family was looking good. I appreciate it. I can't take credit. That's mama. <laughs> but this is our man, the Super Bowl champion and Fox NFL analyst, Greg Jennings. All right, hey. look, I want to start here, Greg. Devontae Smith, I know you're glad to see a wide receiver win the Heisman. And that dude was fantastic. I mean, he just took over games with his speed and everything. I, I'm a little concerned. I, I think, look, he'll make it in the NFL, I'm sure. But as far as will he be a, like a great receiver, I'm a little concerned about the size because he's really small. What, 175, they say. Probably isn't even 175. It, what, how big of a factor is that? Does he have to put on weight or is that not really something to worry about? Um, you know, from the outside looking in, right out the gate, you're going to say, yes, he's going to need to put on size. He's going to need to put on some muscle mass. But when you look at comparables to him and what he does, you look at T.Y. Hilton, uh, Deshaun Jackson, guys that are smaller structure that has lasted. And it's worked for them. And I feel like he has an even greater skill set than, than some of those names. So I like what I see out of him. Would it help him to put on size? Of course. 
but it's worked for him so far. So I can't I can't say he's on the wrong straight wrong track. Greg, um, the Cleveland Browns obviously uh, first playoff game in a number uh, since what twenty twelve I think, uh, but but they're going to be without their coach. Two thousand two. Is it 2002, 2002, uh, and their uh, left tackle? Uh, does uh, Baker Mayfield have, you know, a built-in excuse if, if they can't win? I know they're going on the road to play Pittsburgh. They're the underdog. But if this thing doesn't, you know, look good, can you really blame the quarterback without having his coach and the COVID and your left tackle, or, 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 or can they still win this game? I mean, I'm going to tell you like this, Rob. You can, they can try to use it as an excuse if they want, but no one cares. No one cares. Everybody understands what this year has been like, um, and it's unfortunate. It is going to be a factor. I do believe it will be a factor, but it, Baker Mayfield, it's all about him and his performance, protecting the football, understanding what he's going to get from an opponent that he will have now seen three times, a little different the last time he saw him, with, without having the pass rush and, and whatnot. But it, this is going to be on Baker Mayfield to bring his A game. Uh, Baltimore, they have looked great. They haven't played Titans the last – I don't mean the Tennessee Titans, but, you know, great teams the last few weeks. But they look good. They look rejuvenated. Do you think this is the first uh, – this is the time now that Lamar Jackson will get his first playoff win? You know, I do believe so. I believe last year they came into the game uh, with so much pressure of being who they were in the regular season and being so dominant, and it kind of worked against them. You know, when you when you are the bar, a lot of teams target you, and they come at you with a different approach. And I think the Tennessee Titans just came at the right time, and it's all about matchups when you get this this late in the season, in the postseason. Who matches up with who the best? And I think this is a good matchup for Lamar Lamar Jackson. And the way he's been playing, they've been implementing a lot more passing early in the game, early in the downs, and I think that will benefit him moving forward. Now, Seattle and the Rams, uh, I, I just I, – the Seattle's only – Seattle's three-and-a-half-point favorites at home. Um, I don't know if – I've lost it for the Rams. I know they have a good defense, Greg. But uh, the, the quarterback situation and the offense. But then Seattle has struggled as well offensively of late. What do you make of that game? Who's going to win? And, and is Russell Wilson going to return? Because they've struggled. You know, this is a game where I, I think it's going to come down to uh, coaching. <laughs> because, as you said, both teams have struggled offensively. And we don't know what Jared Goff is going to look like coming right. back. Um, but we know what Sean, we know what uh, Sean McVay is. We know what Pete Carroll is, and I think it'll be a tight game. These teams are very familiar with one another. You have to have some type of unscouted look. And when you're when you're this tight knit, and you understand who's across from you, and you know exactly what they do and how they do it, you better have an unscouted look. Something that is a new wrinkle that you can kind of get the advantage or gain an advantage. So I, I really think it's going to come down to coaching. Does Washington get – I assume you've got Tampa Bay in this game. Does Washington make it tough on them, and, and do they have a chance to beat them? Don't ever assume anything. Don't ever <laughs> wow. assume anything. But I do – I, I do have I do have the bucks, but <laughs> you just wanted to take but, a shot at me, man. <laughs> I did, I did. But but Washington Washington poses every problem that you could possibly pose when it when we talk about Tom Brady and yep. what has hindered and crippled him in his postseason past. When you talk about interior rushes and ex and, and pass rushes off the edge that are long, that can get up in the air, that can eliminate or disrupt a horizontal passing game. And what I mean by that is kind of the, the dinking, the screen game, the quick game. They deflect a lot of balls, bat a lot of balls down, but they also prohibit you from climbing the pocket, something that Tom Brady, that's, that's, his, that's his bread and butter. He lives through climbing the pocket and understanding how to navigate and stay within that pocket and release the ball. So I think that's where they have the advantage, but – Tom Brady has seen it all. 
and I think they will be well equipped. The Washington football team, they run, they like to run the ball. This is a great run defense. Although they'll be without Devin White, um, their linebacker, in, but I think the Bucks just have too many pieces for the Washington football team. Last thing, uh, the Bucks this year played six teams, six playoff teams. What was their record, Greg, in the six games against hey, playoff teams? Rob, Rob, I don't care about <laughs> any of that. I'm asking you I a really question. Don't. I'm just no, asking no, you a I'm, question. I, I, I don't care about any of that because when you we can say what the Washington football team is a 7-9 and nine team, but are they really when Alex Smith is at the Four helm? 4-1 so with it, Alex it, Smith. And so when you look at this, it's, it's just about who's playing who and are they hot in the matchups and winning your one-on-one. In the postseason, a lot of experience takes, takes precedent and it takes place. And when you have a young team, they don't know how to win and they'll try to deviate from schemes and schematic things that assist one another versus just or, – or I shouldn't say versus – by doing what they want to do to impact the game as an individual. And sometimes that hurts you. Good try, Rob. What, I, I'm I'm let, let what you the try? What I just the wanted to see. What's the record? I just, what is no, it? I'm not going to tell four, you now. I'm only list, only people <laughs> like on I my, can't look it up. On, like, <laughs> on my uh, social media, you'll get it there because Greg Jennings didn't want knowledge. Chris well, Broussard didn't want knowledge. Media, so that's so. all right. <laughs> well, screw you guys. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> All right, Greg. Thanks, brother. Happy 35 year. years in the business, and this guy can't answer my question. <laughs> Congrats on that, too, by the way, man. Just, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. All right. Peace. See you, Greg.